Watauga Arts Council with your host, Cherry Johnson, serving arts in Watauga County for more than 30 years. Hi, I'm Cherry Johnson with Watauga County Arts Council and the cold is around us and the winter weather is coming up on top of us and that means it's time for a fun and wonderful event called Telebration. This is Tammy Sanabria mm -hmm. and Tammy is a storyteller of some renown in this area and uh, we were, the Arts Council has sponsored Telebration for many, many, many years and Doyle Pace has been on our board of directors and has been the person that has organized it for several years now. And uh, Doyle and his wife moved to um, a retirement uh, center away from the mountains. And so Doyle and I were kind of like, well, I just don't know how that's going to be able to happen with Doyle gone and nobody else was really prepared to step into the shoes. So we kind of just canceled it and uh, told the folks at Mass General Store that we just couldn't do it this year and so forth. And then I got a phone call and it was Tammy. And Tammy was like, but we want to do Telebration. Yes. <laughs> so you jumped in there and pulled it all together. Yes, yes, we have a great lineup. It's gonna be wonderful. Um, we have Orville Hicks, Lynn Bullock, Charlotte Ross, me, Tammy Sanabria, and we're introducing uh, Ravonda Wolf and maybe Dole might came, come in might for a story. Might be able to come back. <laughs> I hope he does. I, I, will, I will be surprised if he doesn't show up. I, I think he will. Dole's a sweetie and we, we will miss him in the high country but he's not gone forever. No, he's just wintering. He's, he's, that's exactly it. They'll just be back and forth. Yes. So that means you're going to have to step into his shoes in this area now. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> now, so you got together with these storytellers. Who, who, was this just something you thought up, or did you talk to some of them and say, let's get it together? How did this come about? I just decided to do it, and so I called them up, and, and I really didn't expect positive things from all of them. And all of them like, yeah, sure. And <laughs> Glenn said, no, I'll need to make sure I go to church. And so... Um, make it at two o'clock so I can come up then. I'm like, all right. That so, makes good sense. So yeah. we're gonna go over the details. It is on, on November the 24th. 4th. And that is a Sunday. It is. And at two o'clock mm -hmm. at the Blow and Rock Realty. Yep. And there will, it will be a ticketed event because we're having to pay for some expenses. Right. So that's gonna be $5 a person. Very cheap. Yes, and let's talk about what Telebration is. Okay, about um, 14 years ago, a fellow started Telebration and he said, um, I want everybody in my community in my state to do the stories at one time. Well, that took off and it became a national thing. Now it's an international thing. Mm -hmm. So the, the weekend before Thanksgiving every year, you have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of storytelling. And it's all over the world. And so... When you're telling stories, it's sort of neat because you know that somebody else, probably in a different language, is telling a story too. So we're all telling stories, and it just, it's a, it's a celebration of storytelling. It really is. It yeah. is a worldwide celebration. It is. And storytelling is a worldwide tradition. It's how history's been carried down exactly. for years. And it's, it's a, a form of entertainment for, for most people for many, many generations. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it's also a whole lot more than that. It, it, it shares the spirit of a community. It you does. Know, so. It does. And speaking of that, you, you are local mm -hmm. and you are a true Appalachian storyteller. Yes. You know. And you learned it how? How did you learn storytelling? I think from my grandpa, Pate, his, his grandmother was Indian, and she told him a lot of stories that he passed on down mm -hmm. to us. Mm -hmm. And um, so I just, sitting at his feet and listening to his stories, I just wanted to be like him so badly. Huh. So now I tell stories about him and from him. That's cool. So is that your specialty, that kind of stories? Yeah. I, right now, I'm still in the... Um, Halloween mode for some reason. I, <laughs> I really picked up some good new ghost stories this year, and uh, so that's the mode I'm in right now. Uh huh. So you go in cycles from one yeah. thing to well, another. Well, I just sort of gauge with the, the crowd. Uh huh. You know, because um, I tell one story that's pretty scary, and it, it goes like spin, spin, come on, spin. <laughs> and this this one little girl at uh, the hayride at Honey Bear this year, she started yelling, Daddy, make her stop spinning, make her stop spinning. And then she ran <laughs> off of the wagon and it was terrible. So, you know, I've got, if there's a young one, I'm not going to tell that story but um, anymore. <laughs> 
Uh, um, Do you have children's stories that yes, you tell? Yes, I have children's uh -huh. stories, and I've written children's stories. And I have um, one project I've worked on for years is the real story of the Blowing Rock. Because oh. what is on the pamphlet is not the Cherokee legend. And that, I, I, I think, is real important for the locals, especially to know the true story of the Blowing Rock. That is cool. Are you going to tell that at this event? I could. I think that might be an appropriate place to yes. do it. Yes, <laughs> it would be. Now, you've got in front of you an array of, of some, well, for those who are, have been around the local community or who have some knowledge of the local community, these are recognizable items. Uh, Tammy, tell us about these. Okay. Um, as a teacher, I got tired of kids wanting to take toys outside to play with mm -hmm. because we just made up things when we were young. So um, I started bringing some of these around my, my kids, and they loved them, and they don't rust, and it's hard to break one. This is the man on the flying trapeze, and um, they, they loved them, and so I started taking them to festivals, and people like my husband loves this one, and you only get the point if somebody witnesses you doing it. <laughs> but, but, you know, he's from Mexico, and he loves this. It's one of his favorite toys. Um, now, I'm encouraging students to also make these toys uh -huh. because this is just a, a laurel tree, and it's a jiha wimmy diddle. Now, ji means right, ha means left because my grandpa Pate always plowed with Fred and Frank. Mm -hmm. And if you want him to go right, he'd say ji. Mm -hmm. And if you want him to go left, he'd say ha. And they would go because they don't have turn signals, those horses. <laughs> so uh, this is Lady of Valley Cruces. She told her family, she said, this is a lie detector. And she had a house full of kids, seven or eight of them. And this is true. And she would get this out if she came home and something was broke or something. She'd say, did you do this? And she'd put it right in front of them. And if it went, if it went G, it, they were telling the truth. If it went ha, I've lost my ha this morning. If they went ha, you can't, was, tell tell lie. Lie. <laughs> I can't tell a lie. I can't tell a lie. It won't do my ha. There it is. There's my ha. And so they had no idea she was in control of this. Uh-huh. So she told me it was a lie detector. And a couple of years ago, this lady was going through, the same lady was grown up, it was going through a master store with her husband. And she said, oh, look, honey, they've got lie detectors. And he went, oh, my gosh, you really believe that? <laughs> and she was pregnant at the time. So she got these, and she's using these on her children now as lie detectors. That's it's funny. Of, it's just so much fun. Now, this is Spin the Wheel, or Spin the Moon. And my grandmother said this is the only time she ever got her hair cut in her life is when her little brother got one of these in her hair and it had to be cut out. Um, people used to make these with big buttons, especially from coats and stuff. Uh -huh. And it's something really easy to make with your kids and it lasts forever. Um, my toy maker is, has went to a different style. This is called a buzz saw. It's like spin the moon but it's that do even more it? damage to your hair <laughs> yeah you can hear that wow yeah that's fun um of course there's jacob's ladder which always mesmerizes me you can do all kinds of things with this one but this is my favorite thing just to do that, that thing. <laughs> and then there's jack if you're storytelling the mountains, you got to have a jack. And this is going down Crook Creek. See my girl, uh-huh, uh-huh. Going down Crook Creek. See my girl, uh-huh, uh-huh. The creek got high. I started to cry. I, I had to tell my girl goodbye. Going down Crook Creek. See my girl, uh-huh, uh-huh. And he's clogging. Uh-huh. Like all good mountain children know how to do. He loves to clog. So. And then you got one more over there. This one is from Australia on um, when Crocodile Dundee says, I want to call up some friends, he uses a spool whip. Let's see if you can get it. Uh-oh. You're out of the cam. Whoops. She's going to kill somebody. <laughs> whoa, it's just not going to work in here. <laughs> <laughs> but it goes, woo, 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 woo. It's a bull whip. And kids can learn that it just takes, you know, vibration to make sound. Uh-huh. So um, 
Then I have the cannular phones. Remember the can phones we used to talk on? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. We'd take a string and just, hello, hello. Ten cans. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, now all the kids have cellular phones, but I'm still keeping my cannular phone. <laughs> and, it, and it works, and the kids love it. And the laughing cans. There's just all kinds of things that I do. And, you know, ask the kids how many jump rope rhymes they know. Mm -hmm. And um, some of them are not being passed down. You may be sitting at home and say, well, I don't know anything spectacular I can do. Get a yo-yo out and yo-yo for your kids. I bet they don't even know that you know how. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's, it, they're amazed by you. Like, wow. Um, show them how to play marbles and jacks and hopscotch and how just to play instead of it being regulated and having, you know, all these rules and stuff. Just to play. It's important for us to continue to play, too. So you're a lot more than just a storyteller. You're a historian in a lot of ways, passing on the traditions of the mountain culture mm -hmm. through the toys, through the stories, you know, passing along what what's dying, and you're trying to rev keep it alive right. and revive it and, and make sure people know about it. Right. I mean, one of my favorite toys was um, a squirt gun. Dr. Watson filled up at one time. He said, that's not a squirt gun. That's what we use to throw spit wads at the teacher's. You know, take it and I'm like, Doc, no, don't tell the kids that. But um, my, my uh, father-in-law used to make the squirt guns slash uh -huh. spit wad um, shooters for me, and he's passed away now. Uh -huh. And I'm not sure how he did it. Uh -huh. And so if anybody knows how to make an elderberry squirt gun, let me know because yep. I would love to have some more made. Yep. Okay. Well, Tammy, I am so excited that you were excited about bringing Telebration oh, alive yes. and keeping it alive. Yes. And I think that uh, all of this that you're doing is fantastic. We've talked a little bit. Doyle and I started talking, actually, and then I passed it on to Tammy, and she liked the idea. So we've got some ideas about ways that we might be able to broaden this whole idea for next year mm -hmm. and, and maybe to make it even bigger and better and involve you even more directly. But this year, your role in this whole thing is don't let it die. Come and be part of it. Come on Sunday the 24th to the Blow Rock Realty and uh, plan to enjoy a, how long do you think this will last? Probably an hour, hour and a half. Uh -huh. and if we have a big turnout, we might do a couple of sessions. Right. So we're just going to see how it goes. But it's going to be fun. It will. It will be fun. I mean, Orville's the king of storytelling and Charlotte's the queen. And Glenn's not far behind. Glenn, Glenn <laughs> is the hollering champion of the mountains. Yeah. So you've got some legends That's right true. there in front of That's you. That's true. It's, and so, uh -huh. you know, we lost Doc just last year, and I think that should, you know, spur us to appreciate what we do have mm -hmm. around here mm -hmm. a lot more. Yes, to celebrate our, our community right. and our local tradition. It's really, really important that we preserve all of this and pass it along, and I hope you're going to be a big part of it. Uh, again, check the uh, Arts Council's web uh, website, watauga-arts.org, for information about this and a whole lot more. Watauga Arts Council with your host, Cherry Johnson, serving arts in Watauga County for more than 30 years.